It's interesting. I've never really tried to put it into words. There's something that gets unlocked when a puppeteer picks up a puppet to try to imbue it with life. You just want to make yourself open so that you can allow whatever wants to come through you to come through. The reality of the puppet comes through the language of gesture. And so there's a kinetic energy involved in that that is your principal means of expression, I think, as a puppeteer. It would be so much easier to show you than to tell you about it. <laughs> I bet he gets tangled up pretty quickly. No, he's not too bad. No? Hello? Hmm. Nobody home. No. The art of puppetry is creating the illusion of life in an inanimate object. So there are a variety of ways through which one does that. Through the breath of the character, through the focus, through the posture and gravity of the character, if it looks like it's floating in space or if it looks like it's grounded. Those are all different little tricks that we use to try to create the illusion of life. The true master puppeteers have an ability to distill something into its essence and communicate it with the simplest of gestures. Because extraneous gestures after a fashion mean nothing. But if you can find that one perfect little moment, that's what we all aspire to. Hello! How you doing today? Thank you so much for all your hard work. You make it really pretty here. Can I stay? Can I stay? Maybe? Maybe I can be in the dance tonight. For me, actually, as a young actor, I was very uncomfortable in my own skin and slightly awkward. And when I discovered puppetry as a performance medium, it really opened me up and got me more in tune with my own physicality. Very often, people who are shy will be attracted to puppeteering. All of a sudden, the energy is translated outside of yourself. And the act of doing that unlocked my own inhibitions and blockages about my own physicality because I saw I could do it out here, but it had to travel through me to get to here. So what would it be like to just have it be here? It's, it's like any art. A violinist practices his scales to better his technique, but then at some point the technique sort of goes away as a conscious exercise while he's playing a sonata, say. It's, it's almost that place of no thought. Puppets are fun. Yeah. I try to bring an element of truth to what I do, which is such a nebulous thing to say as an actor. But as a puppeteer, it can be more concrete in terms of the physicality. If you don't believe that a puppet figure that I'm manipulating is looking at you, then we can't proceed from there. <laughs>